for the Marines. We return again on this day, because the Tyranids of Leviathan shred the galaxy with claws, spines, and really big brains. The epic Leviathan box has been revealed. And among the mountains of plastic inside, you'll find a horde of tyranids from massive monsters to teeming minions. It's time to take a closer look at all of the vicious beasties within the box. Let's take a look. The Screamer Killer, as featured here. The Screamer Killer, and it has its stats shown right there. There's its data card. You can see right there. Take a good look at it. Wow. The Screamer Killer has a long history, starting life as the original Metal Carnifex miniature in 1992. Though one of the many variants of Carnifex, it is infamous for its sheer size and the power of its bioplasmic screen which can melt straight through a space marine in seconds. As you may have seen in the cinematic trailer, of course, its four huge arms ending in brutal talons make it an absolute menace in close combat. The perfect counter to those hard-as-nails Terminators. The Neuro Tyrant, as featured here. The Neuro Tyrant is a support-focused creature. It hovers across terrain, much like a zone throat. Though, unlike their smaller cousins, they sport a multitude of thrashing tendrils to whip at anything within reach. Its giant brain exists to focus the mental powers of the Tyranids, increasing the psychic pressure exerted by the shadows in the warp, while simultaneously relaying the critical synapse network to less developed creatures. Neurogaunts, as featured here. And let's take a look at all the Neurogaunts. Wow! Neurogaunts serve as crucial relays for the Synapse Network and bodyguards for those that would focus it. Larger node beasts can be distinguished by the bulbous growth on their backs, while the smaller gaunts chitter around it with sharp claws and teeth. The Winged Tyranid Prime, as featured here. The Tyranid Prime is an evolved version of the Tyranid Warrior. The Tyranid Prime is an evolved version of the Tyranid Warrior bioform, usually found leading their brethren on foot. But this winged variant can take to the skies to carry its razor-sharp claws and synapse ability far and wide. Like a Pokémon, this is the first time a Tyranid Prime has had a unique miniature, as previous incarnations were built from the Tyranid Warrior's kit. The Von Ryan's Leapers, as featured here. Whoever this unfortunate Von Ryan was, he has a truly horrifying creature named after him. These leapers take genetic elements from hormigons and lictors, combining their best qualities to create a deadly melee threat. Von Ryan's leapers move exceedingly fast thanks to their balancing tails, and their smaller size makes them especially good ambush predators. Termagants, as featured here. Wow. 
You can't beat a classic, and we've seen plenty of termagants already. You get a pile of them in the Leviathan box, twenty in total, and they still come with those adorable ripper swarms that we all know and love. Not featured here, but these are barb gaunts, which they're not named Barbara, but they do have wristle, rustle, rocket, missile, wrists, pod things. Barb gaunts are a tyranid artillery organism, working closer to the front line than hive guard and biovores. The biocannons on their backs are actually bonded with the same parasitic organism that has enslaved the rest of the gaunt to its will, merging body and weapon into a single lethal entity. The Psychophage, as featured here. The massive Psychophage is an organic furnace that gobbles up enemies and turns their essence into a raging, psychoclastic torrent. Their favorite food is psychers, and the mass of whipping tentacles around their gaping maw can strip the mind from the warp inclined before they can lift their magic book or staff or orb in defense of this creature's massive bulk. The terrifying fanged maw harks back to the Haruspex, but the Psychophage has a much more selective diet in mind. Up against the ravenous swarm are veteran space marines packing heavy armor and plenty of flamers, so we'll have to check a closer look at these units to decide whether we'll be consuming first, which we're probably gonna, we're gonna be getting them, so let's just be honest. But there's plenty more inside the Leviathan box, so let's head to Warhammer Fest Hub, whatever that is, to see all of the reels, reveals, and the reels, and the really, really, real re reveals from the event that was from today. So, Brother Marines, yeah. yeah.